our way to the Eugene Airport to pick up the one and only Iron Michael Chandler. He's basically must see TV every time he fights. I'm excited to, to learn more about him. And just learn more about the type of energy he brings to his life and training and what makes him one of the best fighters in the world. So we're gonna lift, run, shoot. So that means lift weights, run the mountain, shoot bows. And then we're gonna podcast and uh, try to peel back the onion a little bit. I'm pumped. Woo. Stay tuned. Hey. Let's go. Every step I take, I move my truth. Every time they tell me stop, I use. Every comment, hate that makes my feel. Gather up my energy and boom. I hear them talking, saying the way that I move is so reckless. That is a part of my mind I've been blessed with. Giving my blood so I am relentless. <laughs> so you've never hunted then? So I've never bow hunted. Okay. We, uh, we gun hunted a decent amount when I was in high school. Oh, did you? Yeah, I, I grew up kind of, shot my first deer, well actually my first and only deer when I was 14. Oh, and okay. Then, then I just haven't, haven't shot anything since. Where'd you grow up at? Missouri. Oh, okay. Yeah. So there's decent, decent hunting there, but it's, it's also, I didn't really grow up in a hunting family either. Mm. My dad hunted, but it was more just, hey, I'm gonna just kind of go out in the woods or go yeah. here or go there. It's never, it was never planned out, never, mm -hmm. We never went to a place where I really had confidence that we were going to actually see anything, mm. you know? Here's, I think, is this, yeah, these are my old guys right here. Where? Right there. Those guys? On that excavator, Whoa. yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, so are you, so you no longer work for the, mm -mm. it no. was the water company, right? Yeah, that's what they're doing right there. Putting in the pipes? Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm, I retired in uh, October. Nice. So now, I know you're. You know what? You're my first guest. No way. Yeah, let's go. I know. <laughs> so this looks like the. This is it. This is the origin camo, and then my keep hammering bow. So yeah. So this is your guys's. Yeah, that's the origin. Yeah, that's the pattern there. These guys are big, big UFC fans here. Oh, you guys yeah. are awesome. So they, so they watch all the. I've seen a lot of this place on yeah. online and everywhere else. Oh, I know. This is where we hang out. Wayne takes care of a lot of archers. It's a lot of pressure. <laughs> it's doing good. First arrow of the day, right there. Brand new bow. Brand new Hoyt. I keep hammering. It's the. Uh, BTM 31 is what it looks like, and uh, he did great. He's a natural. Wayne's the man here. He owns the bow rack. Has owned the bow rack for about 50 years. <laughs> I can't tell you how many people he's helped be successful in the archery world, and and then it starts with archery, and then it transitions to bow hunting. He's helped uh, you know legions of bow hunters become. What we've always loved, just a, a mountain bow hunter out west here, and this is what we do. This is what he's been doing for decades. So he's the best of the best. This is what, who you want to learn from. So this was the first one, just getting dialed in, changed the sight after hitting a little low, and then these are his last ones. Just like so accurate and so good, following instructions just to a T, and technique-wise, just perfect. So. That's what we want. Good work. 10 yards. <laughs> yeah. I'm we'll deadly, we'll I'm say deadly it, at 10 yards. We'll say it was 100. <laughs> I'm deadly at 100 yards. <laughs> it's time to launch a few arrows at long distance. We got Michael dialed in 20 yards, so now we're going to stretch it out, see what he can do. <laughs> Here goes nothing. I've seen how, I see how, how Cam stretches it out. I'm not gonna stretch it out quite as far as Cam stretches it out. <laughs> yeah, just pull back hard against that wall. There you go. And then slowly squeeze that trigger, keep that pin on the spot. I know it's a lot to keep track of. Yeah. Where, where'd it's that one though. hit? I didn't see it. A little bit to the left, I think. 
We're a little bit left. Not bad, a little little tall. So is there is that just a pull? I'm most likely just pulling it left? Um, no, it's just that string can settle in. You can get a little more your technique dialed in. Yeah. So I think um, just the trend is a little left, so we'll cheat that side over. When you're hitting left, you move that side left, you follow your mistake. So move the side left, that pulls you back right. Um, and then we're pretty good. I mean, just a little bit tall, but not bad. And it's a, a blessing and a curse to have a guy like Cam Haynes here with you, because obviously the, luckily I'm comfortable with him and we're friends, but he's just, he's so good at it. So you want to be good at it, but then he's got these awesome little cues. It's, it's just, it's a game of like millimeters, just these little tiny little cues that make a huge difference. This is, so let's envision this is an elk heart, okay? And it's symbolic because it's red. I don't know if you notice that. That's like the heart of an elk, full of blood, full of life. This is, this is that. It's a, what is that? Is that a metaphor or an analogy? It's a soliloquy. It's a soliloquy. No, it's not actually. I think it's a metaphor. It's a metaphor. No, I like soliloquy better. <laughs> okay, we ready to make this happen? Yep. Okay, so that balloon represents basically the same size of a kill of a bighorn ram. We want to get the, the lungs. Um, what I'm feeling, I'm feeling the, the wind is gonna push the arrow a little bit, so we might have to aim, cheat into the wind depending on what it's doing. To the right a little bit? Yeah. Yeah, I feel like I'm just crushing the first one. <laughs> <laughs> so with In this the perfect wind, world. I would hold on the, kind of the right side of that balloon. Yes, sir. First one, dude. All right. <laughs> How sweet it was, was that? It was a little to the right, and then it that just That was went. perfect. That was perfect. First one at 74 yards. You can't right. beat that. No, you can't beat that. Great, good great teacher. shooting, good great teacher. shooting. Just let the bow do the work. That's know? it. I know. That's all. We, we screw it up, but if you just let the bow do what it's designed to do, that's what happens right there. Dang. Kill shot on a bighorn ram. My dude. <laughs> My dude. That was fun, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can't let nobody hold me back, rocking button downs in the bummy slacks with the Birkenstocks. Looking like the Nair Flynn is tight with the plumbers crack. No, I'm done with that. No soccer mama loud. Cameron think I see a ton of cash. She gon' start a match. If she go to cops, we might pull up with a hundred blacks. No, I can't let nobody hold me back. Keep looking at me like I only ride. You gon' hit a ceiling, yeah. You told me that, it's cause you want me under. They done show me that, and now I get it. I know even homies cap. Respect the minute down next four, we can fast forward. I'm pulling the dumb on you dummies right here. It's the crash course, could have had more. They done know I've been working my mental health. It's like a task force. Got we got the shooting part part out of the way now we got to run and we got to lift it's got the makings of a great day so fun michael chandler iron michael chandler one of the best the faces of the ufc right now and uh it's just great to share my life with them and i'm excited to get up on the mountain and push some weights also <laughs> <laughs> This is a pretty convenient little, I call it like a 1100 feet climb for lunch. Um, I would come over here after or in, in the middle of my day at work and I worked just right over here. So very, pretty quick um, to get here and then 1100 feet climb, a few miles back to the office. So, um, but it's just a nice little local hill that starts at, what does it start at? Uh, 400 feet elevation at the bottom and goes to 1500 feet. So that's 1100 foot change. And you can do miles and miles and miles up here. But we're gonna do, get a handful of miles out of the way and get a nice summit and uh, show Michael Chandler and Mount Pisgah. Nice little climb. Yeah. Nice little lunch run. That was 
I did 15. 15. <laughs> I thought you were serious. We just had some deer steak chili, and now we're having a little, doing a little chest workout. We worked our way up to 225, and now we're doing max reps at 225. Looks like Tanner's not even tired yet. No. How many is that? That's 15. Okay. 17, 18. That's me and Chandler's total. Yep. Together. And mine too. <laughs> yeah, yours. Yeah, yeah. And yours. Don't forget about me. 21. Oh, good work. Nice. Goodness gracious. So we are getting a nice little pump in, obviously, with the run and the shoot. You must also lift. It was an honor to be in here lifting with Cam. Um, doing what we can with what we have here. Um, you know, I, I love to train fast, explosive med balls, coupling strength movements with the explosive movements. So tonight, today we're focusing a lot more on strength, upper body, which I'm happy about because we already ran like 12 miles today and we still got like 12 later. So uh, <laughs> we're gonna hit some upper body today. Get a nice little pump in, hit some dinner. Hey. Every day I go to work. Hey. It ain't no time to relax. Hey. I put the time on the map. Hey. I put the team on my back. Hey. Every day I go to work. Hey. It ain't no time to relax. Hey. I put the time on the map. Hey. I put the team on my back. Hey. I got a crown. Hey. Yeah, I got a crown. Hey. Yeah, they want me to chill. Hey. Look, they don't know time. Hey. Look, I got a crown. Hey. Yeah, I got a crown. Hey. Yeah, they want me to chill. Hey. Look, it ain't no time. Yeah. Your 20? Yeah. So this is an anchored, anchored front raise. So you do your front raise, it gets a little wonky, so you can go a little bit heavier by anchoring yourself. You can also do an anchored side raise as well. But just anchoring yourself, whether you put your head on a bench, just similar to putting your feet on the ground on a bench press compared to putting your feet on the on the on the bench. You just have a little bit more structural integrity so you can lift a little bit heavier. Although I don't focus on a lot of muscle groups to make them bigger, shoulders, making shoulders stronger in my line of work, getting in, grappling, getting your arms twisted and stuff, just taking care of my AC joints, taking care of my rotator cuffs to make sure my shoulders last as long as possible in a sport that tears up your shoulder. So, I'm doing these because Michael Chandler says he does them. So that's good enough for me. He's the best in the world at what he does. I think I can learn from people like that. So when you're shooting elk, the racks are a lot of the same, right? Similar. They're not, not, they're not many are like much bigger than the others. You're well, looking for size of animal? Yeah, I mean like normally, <laughs> like this is pretty unique. Yeah, that one's... Like see how it's got, it's a 10 by nine. Normally a mature bull will be this. This is six six by it's, six. It's more like this than it is. Yeah. This one seems like it's more up. It's a little narrower, so it's tight. I call it the tight bull. It's tight, but very unique. A, a normal big bull will be six points per side. So when you saw him, you were like, oh, okay, I'm shooting that dude. Yeah, that one's different too. That one has, wow. Like just, it's super heavy. Like you're saying how yeah, thick it was. Thick. Yeah. And this is one I got this year. Dang. So what makes you not mount that guy? Well, I'm out of room. <laughs> I, I thought that might have been one of the yeah. things. All right, well, we gotta wrap up our lift run shoot day with Michael Chandler. So we're gonna do a night run. We're heading to the mountain across town it's gonna be about 13 more miles, and then we're gonna get up and summit while everybody else is chilling in their house, maybe even asleep already. Um, we're putting in work, so this is how we're gonna cap it off. It's gonna be awesome. We thought, you know what? Let's finish this marathon out. 
now it's later, so now we got to finish the marathon out. So it sounded good. It sounded great. It and looked good on paper. <laughs> it sounded doable to the guy who does it quite often. <laughs> it sounded like an awesome idea, but not so <laughs> realistic for the guy who's never done it before. See you later. <laughs> Thanks. I'm more worried about the chafing than I am. <laughs> You got it though. <laughs> Good work. <laughs> this guy's a beast. We are at the summit of Mount Pisgah. This is late night. Most of the people down there in their warm houses and comfortable beds are sleeping, but we're here grinding out miles. We got a marathon done, his first ever marathon. We uh, pushed some iron around, um, got hundreds of reps done lifting. That was fun. And then probably what I enjoyed the most is watching him shoot his brand new bow so well. Um, it was just fun to watch. You know, we put a balloon out there to give us a visual long distance. He shot so well and uh, that was a lot of fun. So the, the vision for this lift run shoot series was exactly what we did today. I mean, this is exactly what I had in mind. This is truly what I love to do is spend time around people who appreciate the gift of life like I do and, and can get out there and, and grind. So uh, today was amazing, very thankful, and uh, I, I just really appreciate Michael coming all the way out here to Oregon and sharing just a memorable day with me.